Hey guys! So, for my video today, I feel like you guys really enjoyed my last um, things that I found at Winners and Marshalls video. So, I'm gonna do another one of those. It again only has like six items one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six items. I'm gonna show you what I have. And that's it. Definitely let me know if you do like this sort of video by giving it a like. Just just press the button that like, 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 like. I don't find these things on like one trip. Like I have to like kind of accumulate them with other things that I get there. So the first thing is from MAC and this is the MAC Very Valuable Pro Longwear Lip Pencil Kit number two. So I don't know where it says what the shades are. It of course doesn't say, thank you. So I actually have already sold this purple one. I like sold it in like a makeup like swap thing that I was doing because I knew that I wasn't gonna use it. Like I knew that I didn't need it. But these two colors are fantastic and I have them right here. So this one is etc. And it's just like a really nice nude color. It is the most basic of the nudes, bitch. And then the other one is cultured and it is on the top. So these two are very similar. They are super creamy, super rich, super nice. I already knew that. So when I purchased this, I knew that I was gonna like it. I just didn't want this purple one. But it was $19.99, which is cheaper than buying one of these. So I got three for less than the price of one. And I sold this one for like $8. I got a good deal on it, basically, is what I'm saying. So this was an awesome find. This is $40 worth of lip pencils that I paid $20 for, and then I got $8 back. So I basically paid $12 for the two of these. So $6 each. And I'm actually wearing one of them today, and now I forget what it was. It has to be cultured, right? Yeah, definitely cultured. And then I just put a Flower Beauty lip gloss over top of it because their lip glosses are not sticky and they feel fantastic. So I'm loving this lip combo and I'm super, super stoked that I found this at Winners. We might as well do all the makeup finds first then since I started with that. So this may not be exciting to like anyone else, but this is like one of the only lip balms that I wear. And I think they're like $4.99 in stores, which is this, that's what it says on this, that it's comparable at $4.99. But it's just a Burt's Bees lip balm. They're like original classic lip balm. I use them literally all the time. I have them all over my apartment, all in my bags, you know, shit like that. And yeah, so I think I saved about $2 on this. They're just awesome. They just rock. So I mean, if I, like I know I'm gonna buy them anyway, so if I can find them on a deal, like obviously I'm gonna grab, you know, one or four or six or whatever. Um, but they only had one, or I would have grabbed more. So the last makeup thing is actually another Sigma brush, and I'm just loving, loving that Winners has, you know, Sigma, and I've seen some Anastasia Beverly Hills there. Um, I've seen some Kevin Aquan stuff now. The brushes that I saw, I, like, wasn't that into, so I didn't purchase them because they were still, like, 40-some dollars. But if I see a brush that I am into, I'm going to purchase it because they're a sick deal there, okay? So this is by Sigma. Again, Sigma is like the only brushes that I've bought there so far. Yes. And this is the E55. It's a shader brush and it just looks really nice. Like it just looks like it's going to do a really good job. And this was $12.99. It says comparable at 20, which I totally believe. So, and all of my other Sigma brushes that I've bought and have been using, I've been loving. Like, loving so anytime that I see another one that I don't have or one of the ones that I love I'm gonna be purchasing it like that's just the way that it is so these guys are definitely a good deal if you see these and you're you know a makeup lover makeup addict makeup brush collector pick yourself up some actually in one of my groups that I'm in a like makeup group because I'm in a ton on Facebook somebody had a picture of um some of the sets in their cart and they were on sale. So if you were looking at the sets before and you thought they were just like a little bit too expensive for you, run, don't walk to Winners and they're probably on sale. I think it was in Ontario, which I'm not in, but I haven't been to Winners to see, so they might be on sale in my province as well. I don't know. The next two things are shoes. Two things, two things, not thing. 
too. And it's so funny because the boots that I bought, I picked these up, tried them on, and really liked them, like really liked them when I was at Winners one day with my mom. But I knew that they were good quality just because like the when I picked them up, they were heavy, they felt like suede, like, like I could just tell that they were nice. So when I saw what the price was, I was just like, I can't do that right now. Like I don't need any damn shoes. So the price was $99.99. And I was like, I just, I can't because I don't need them. Like there's no, I don't need to have these, even though I want to have them and I need to have them. I don't need them. You know what I mean? Well, I went on my merry way. Didn't really think about them that much because I just, I knew I wasn't going to spend a hundred dollars on them. That was just, it was easy. But I went into winners. I don't know like a week ago and they were having all of their like after Christmas after Christmas after Christmas clearances on and I don't know what they were marked before they were marked but I bought them for because I don't care but they were marked on sale for $25 a fourth of the original price at winners and I think it says it says compare it 140 I wouldn't be surprised if it was more than that because they are lucky brand boots I'm so pleased like I'm so pleased girl they're not too high they have a chunky heel they have a little peep toe they're so cute let's put one on shall we they look like this they're so cute so they're about what one two three inches little peep toe color is so good price was so good also, I'm wearing pajama pants. Yes, don't know if you just noticed that, but you probably did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I found those first, and I was like, you know, just tickled pink. I was so happy. I was like, this is all I need today. Like, this is great. Continue to walk down the aisle, and I saw a pair of Pumas in a five and a half, I want to say, and they were white and nude. And I was like, oh my God, those are so cute. But like, I could tell right away that they were too small. Also, those are an eight and a half. I'm a true nine, but those did fit. I don't know if it has something to do with the pee toe. I don't know if the brand makes shoes a little bit bigger. I have no idea, but I got an eight and a half and they fit perfectly. So yeah, so I see these shoes. Well, I didn't know that they had other sizes right then, but I saw a five and a half and I was like, girl, no, like those, <laughs> those are not gonna fit me. So I like looked at them and I was like, oh, those are so cute. And side note, Pink Sparkles, Sam, on YouTube. If you don't know, you should know, so whatever. She had just got a pair of sneakers that were nude and I saw that vlog or video, I don't remember what it was, I watched all of her content. Um, so anyways, she had just got a pair of nude sneakers and I was like, nude sneakers? I need new sneakers, not new sneakers. <laughs> I need nude sneakers. So I like wasn't gonna spend how much she spent, like I think it was like $160 or whatever. Um, but I was like gonna keep an eye out, an eye out. So side note to that. So that like brought me full circle to this. I was like, ooh, new shoes. So then I go into the next aisle and they have them in a nine. Nine is what I need, baby. Nine. So they're not as nude as hers were. Like hers were like an all over nude, but these ones have nude and that will do for me. That will suffice. And I miss the old style of Puma. If you're like my age, you would know what this looks like. It's, it's not like this. It's like the ones that are more like narrow and they like curve in and they have like lines and then like a little Puma on the front. I know that you know what I'm talking about. Me and like Kyle both had a pair, like everybody had a pair in my high school. I swear to God, they were like the cool thing to have. And I miss those, I miss Pumas. Um, so these were really sick and the price on the five and a half was $22 and I was like, there's no way this size is going to be $22. Like it was probably just on that one because I don't know, because they're so small, like not as many people are going to be looking at them. That's all that I mean by that. Um, but they were, they were $22. So obviously I bought both of them and these were originally $60, which you know, not as big of a savings as the boots, but I'm happy about it because I wouldn't have been walking out of there with $60 sneakers that day because I, again, I didn't need them. But when they're on this kind of a discount, like that's a third of the price, bitch. Like that's a sick damn price. It says Puma right there. And then it has the Puma cat on the back. 
it's like two it like won't show you and then it just says poom on the bottom they're like really slick looking they are so worth their 22 dollar price tag like i'm like so pleased these are so cute ah, ah last but not least is actually a pair of jeans and these are actually from hollister which is very interesting um they are what am i trying to say here yeah they're from hollister they are a beach wash denim in a high rise crop skinny fit. So they are cropped. I don't love the way that the bottom looks. They look like a pedal pusher, as my mother would say. Um, she's probably gonna watch this and be like, oh, Alana, oh. But that, like her and my grandmother would say that about these jeans, they're, they're pedal pushers. And I'm just like, they're cropped. <laughs> they're just cropped, like they're just short. Um, I, yeah, I'm not crazy about the bottom of them, but they look so good on my damn ass. They look so good on my damn ass. And they were $13. I think they were only originally like $29.99. I, I lost the tag. I had it somewhere in my room, but I went to go look for it and it wasn't there. So I'm sorry, I can't show it to you. But it had the same red tag as this uh, shit did. And it was obviously connected to this bitch. Um, but they were on sale for $13, which I mean... You probably could find that at the actual Hollister store or like at one of the like outlet stores, but not all the time. It wouldn't be that easy, um, whatever. So regardless, the price was right. And I'm thinking if I like really don't like the way that the bottom is, I can just roll it up. Like I don't mind that. I'll probably roll it twice so that you can't see all the, like the frayed bits. But like, just like this, it's worth it because if your butt looks good, your day is gonna be good, right? So who cares about the crap? pedal pusher bottom you know and besides that I also really enjoy the uh, wash and all the like I don't know this isn't distressing this is just the wash but anyways I really enjoy the way that this looks as well it's like flattering on your hips doll face I apologize for my like weird ass mood I don't know I already filmed another video today and I'm just kind of like like I'm like like I'm like I'm all over the place Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it was as good as the last one. Same kind of finds, same kind of deals. Super happy about them. Super happy to see them at Winners. Um, oh yeah, and the jeans were from Marshalls. That's how it's Marshalls and Winners. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And like I said, make sure that you give it a thumbs up if you do enjoy these types of videos. I'm gonna keep shopping, so like I'm probably gonna keep making them, but I also wanna put out content that you guys want to see. So make sure that if you do enjoy them, and subscribe. I'm about to do a giveaway because I did hit 1500 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for that. Let's keep it there. Let's keep it moving. I'm going to spend some money. I'm going to buy you guys some stuff and I'm going to send it to you if you win. Thanks guys. I'll see you in my next one.